In this video, we want to demonstrate how you can build up your own responsive color picker for the MA3 software in seconds using our latest color picker generator plugin. After the installation, you get a layout view like this, in which you can pick the colors for your different fixture groups. By clicking on a circle icon, you can change the color of a single fixture group. By clicking on a fixture icon above, you can change the color of all your fixture groups at the same time. All the color changes are linked to the executor fade time, so you can easily add a fade to them by raising up the executor time master. After we have set our executor fade time, there is a nice fade for all our color changes. After you have purchased the plugin, you can download a txt file. This file contains your personal download link and a corresponding zip key. Just open the link and download the latest version of the plugin. All future versions of the plugin will also be available for you to download at this link. After downloading, you have to unzip the plugin folder with your zip key. For this, we recommend using 7-zip on Windows or Keka on Mac as these programs support the latest zip encryption standards. Once the files are unzipped, you will find the GrandMA3 folder and you are ready to prepare your USB flash drive. The Grand MA3 folder of our plugin has the same folder structure as the MA3 software is using on internal and external drives. Therefore, you can simply copy the entire Grand MA3 folder to a USB flash drive. As long as the naming is unique, there will be no issues with other files, even if you have an existing Grand MA3 folder on your USB flash drive. If you do not trust this method, you can copy the files of our plugin one by one into your existing folders. After you have copied all the files, you are ready to import the plugin. To import the plugin, we have to open the plugin pool first. To do so, click on an empty screen area, choose pools and select the plugins pool. After this step, we select an empty plugin pool item and swipe left to enter the edit menu. In the edit menu, we find an import button. As our plugin is on an external USB flash drive, we have to change the directory from the internal drive to our connected USB flash drive. If everything has worked correctly, you will find a MBL color picker generator XML file in this list. Select it and several other files will appear in your plugin. After that, you can leave the edit menu. The plugin is now imported and you're good to go. After you have imported the plugin, you can run it by clicking on the corresponding plugin pool item. At the first start of the plugin, a setup dialog appears in which you can adjust various settings. First, you have to specify the color presets which should be used by the plugin for the buildup of the color picker. You can specify them by entering the number of your start preset and the amount of presets. So in my case, the start preset is preset number 1 and we have a total amount of 15 color presets. In a second step, the same procedure applies to the groups which should be used by the plugin. If you want to, you can change the starting number of the macros, the appearances and the sequences that will be generated for the functionality of the plugin in the background. Finally, you can enter the number of the desired layout view and hit the generate button. An overview appears that shows you the changes that will be done by the plugin to your show file. If everything is okay, hit the confirm button and the color picker layout will be generated. 
Afterwards, you will find the color picker layout in the layout view pool. Just open an empty layout view, select the color picker layout, and there it is. To optimize this view, you can select elements as fit type and hit the button right to it. That's it. Your color picker is now ready for use. After you have built up your color picker initially, you can use the plugin to customize and modify your color picker. If you run the plugin after the first build up, a new dialog appears. This dialog gives you the option to reinstall, uninstall or customize the color picker. Reinstall lets you redo the initial installation process as shown previously. This is useful if there are many major changes. Uninstall removes the entire content of the color picker from your show file including all the background items like macros and sequences. Customize gives you the option to modify the existing color picker. For example, you can edit the groups. Hit the edit button and you can add, remove or move groups. Let's say we want to remove a group. To do so, click on remove group, select the desired group and go back in the menu. Hit the Regenerate Color Picker button, confirm the changes, and your color picker will be updated. Another useful feature of the Customize menu is the function for the update of your color picker appearances. The icon colors of the color picker are generated based on the RGB color values of the corresponding color presets. This is only possible if you are using at least one group which contains RGB or CMY fixtures. If there is no group containing RGB or CMY fixtures, all the appearances will be white and you have to set the colors manually. But even if there are groups with RGB or CMY fixtures, the colors displayed by the MA3 software may differ significantly from the look on stage. In this case, you may also want to modify the generated appearances. In my case, the icons for the white color appear gray. To change this, locate the first appearances generated by the plugin. Only the first appearances without the fixture icon are relevant for the changes. By swiping left, you can enter the edit menu and change the background color. After you have done all the changes to the appearances, enter the Customize menu and hit the Update Appearances button. As you can see, the icons for the white color now appear correctly. Currently, it is possible that after restarting your console or on PC system, you may not be able to run the plugin without re importing it. If this is the case, just delete and import the plugin again from your USB flash drive. Please also note that currently only one USB flash drive should be connected to your device when importing the plugin to ensure a proper import of all data. We know about these issues and hope that we are able to resolve them in future releases of the GrandMA3 software. Thanks for watching. We hope that you enjoy working with our plugin. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. You can find our contact details in our plugin store at the link in the video description.